Next up, it's three versus five. Looks like Al is up on the first match of every round on this tournament. I use tournamentscheduler.net, so it never puts them in the same order as, a, as other tournament schedulers. Uh, I see your skins. With a, with a couple of one-year-old monsters, we might be able to look at them later. It doesn't normal Bajal get fight? Is that something you changed for hard mode? I thought that was normal. Oh, <laughs> we've got uh, very high intelligence monsters with no health. It's going to be one hit kills. Oh, you did give it to them. Okay, cool. Unfortunately, the accuracy is on Icy. A little bit low. The firewall doesn't immediately kill, though, which is amazing. Such as the Ice Sword. And Thunder. It's dodged as well. Yeah, the one that uh, Altus made. This is what we're playing on. We're playing on hard mode because the tournaments are slightly more balanced. But then, when you have nothing but speed... It's it's really hard to get an equivalent amount of speed and skill in, um, in, in Spartan Babies, it seems. Because you can leap and you can get 20, uh, 20 speed every week if you've got a growth of 4 or 5. But you can't get an equivalent growth in skill. So, Catabdiedric wins the first round. Did I... Did I do it again? <laughs> yeah, that counts. That totally counts. Sorry guys, I'm tired. Ooh, but Catapatiatric, I can't say the name. They're hitting their power techs. Will it be a power versus power tech match? I see slightly ahead. Oh, now it's been hit by another power tech. The Aqua Wave's at 30%, that could do massive damage if it hits. And the fireball KOs Icy. Next up for round three, it's seven versus twelve. Ah, my money is probably going to be on Glass Wave, just based on its performances in the past two rounds. But anything can happen, it is Monster Rancher. Bees of Up could pull out the good suck. I like how the, uh, pl the plant worm has, like, fly wings for arms, and never mind, the turn assault, which is a very good attack that the Nagas have. Expensive, costs 45 cuts. That doesn't matter when you can just one hit KO your enemy. Rouge, don't talk to me about Rouge. Oh, miss the life drain, that's 50 guts gone. Thwack's gonna do massive damage. Got an angry plant, angry plant makes it a lot easier to hit. Glass wave with the, with the six in a row KO so far. Next 
up, it's Raul. It's player 2 versus player 15. Oh wait, no, I'm the buy. I'm one of the buys this, this round, so... Nope, we won't be seeing you, Raul. Because number 15 didn't send me a memory card. Because I loaded it into slot 2. No files for this game in this memory card, so yeah. So next up will be 8 versus 13. Zap. <sighs> yeah, definitely not the build I thought Ayumuchi Jirohan would be going for. But we'll see. Oh, straight off the gate. I beam doesn't crit, but Baluti grits. It's not out of this yet. Baluti could come back. With a nice strong uh, diving press or roller saw. Diving press probably being Moochies in vanilla there, one of their best chains. And the Taylor Soul doesn't even need the intelligence, just uses a power attack to kill it. I think yes, Muji has a low speed gain. I can't remember how quite how it's been changed around. It's got extra defense though. Bit makes mo the Moochie curl up into a ball, loses 10 guts. Roll saw is about 1 in 4 to hit. And I Beam once again just kills Baluti. So another double KO for uh, Zap. Four points for you. Next up, it's four versus fourteen. <clears throat> I love Swayzos, but the basic Swayzo card just looks crap to me. Excuse me. Yeah, after my, I was gonna start. I wanted to start about three o'clock, but um, I needed a nap after my mom's birthday thing. Oh, single spit takes Dopeshow down to a third of its health. Dopeshow can come back one back blow. Paragus goes down. Twelve seconds. Not the fastest match, but a pretty fast match. Paragus basically a speedrun monster. And a straight criticals! Without the crit, it wouldn't have killed. But it just goes straight down. That is four points for the dope show. It's only round three, Stardust. Anything can happen. Next up, we have 9 versus 16. Oh wait, 9 versus 6. We don't even have a player 16. <clears throat> Oh, my bad. I thought I'd pushed right there. Must have eaten my input. Some of these players seem to have started on new games, so maybe the uh, they weren't quite clear on the rules. You didn't have to start from a new game. But uh, at least two of them have, have like, a year. It's year 1001. Now, you've only missed about... 
an hour. You've only missed like two, two and a half rounds, Moose Bones. Oh, there's the Tail Whip. Does massive damage, does half of Kakian's health. I haven't actually checked out Kakian's stats yet. I need to, uh... Oh, the Trample, though. Yep, yeah, that's gonna crit for 500 damage. I knew that would kill, but that was a bit overkill. <laughs> oh, Kakion has, uh, yes, high power and decent life. It's gone for a more defensive build, so... Oh, minus two, ang two guts and it makes the uh, dragon angry, but it makes it very easy to hit. Kakion needs to take advantage of this. Or just get murdered by a trample. That is two KOs for Arcanist. Next up, we got player 10 versus player 1. It's Usuru versus Sunkist. Seems to be that the gels always go after one another. And let's and we're starting the game. Uh, comparing these stats. Looks like, again, Usuru is very balanced, Sunkiss has the intelligence, but Sunkiss needs to actually hit an attack. Unfortunately, being a gel, it does start with two power techs. And they uh, thwack right off the bat. Takes us down to a third health. Two pyramids, unfortunately, not going to heal anything. And then... One roll assault, Usuru takes down Sunkist. I mean, do you want to tell the chat about your uh, theory crafting for this monster laughing to death while we watch you get de <laughs> destroyed again? Yeah, it's always funny having a healing tech. Just remember, you can get lit. It was nothing but Twister Claw and and uh, Sake drinking. Beam Cannon misses. Grab Throw, that misses. Sunkus has been hit by a slap so far. Oh, the Pyramid recovers, and it doesn't even recover the full health! It does only get 52 health back. That's the lowest healing I've ever seen in one of these tournaments. And the grab throw, that's gonna hurt it. If you'd healed the full sun kissed, you wouldn't have died there. That is a double KO for a Beth. Sorry, sorry for Usuru. Player 11 is the bye. And we're about to start round four. So as we start round four, or just before we start round four, we will mark up the grid for round three. 